that's when you drop him and pour it for me. Yeah. 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 In here, man. In here. In yeah. Here. In here. In here. One more again. Your man DJ Silver Night Party Fanatic. We are in the building, man. 11 o'clock in the morning doing doing it big, doing it early. You know what I'm saying? Whew. Listen, man. I'm going to introduce my friend. Y'all already see him. You know. Hit after hit. After he's, hit. he's had hits on the on the radio for over a decade now, if you don't know. I mean, everybody from Soldier Boy. That's a young, long time. It's a long, long time. <clears throat> young Dolph, Jeezy. You know, more, you know, recently Duval, my man, Mr. Hanky, super producer, is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to all the studio audience. Yeah. Right. Shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we IG in live. Listen, man. We're going crazy. We're going crazy, man. I'm glad you are in the building. Yes, your boy. I appreciate you, you stopping by. We're going to talk some shit today. Let's do it. You know, we're going to eat a little food. Let's do it. But first. But first. But first. Whiskey. Whiskey. 11 o'clock. Joy Say, thank you, Joy Say. Whatever it is in the morning. <laughs> oh, Appreciate you, Joy. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm not be, we, we about to do, ooh, we about to do. <laughs> Have you ever had whiskey at 11 o'clock in the morning, Hank? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not proud to say I haven't, so I'm just going to say yes. Hey, shouts out to my nephew back there. I'll tell you, we do this real bootleg, man. I see. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, Ooh. cheers. But first, whiskey. Whiskey. Okay. I'm not bad at all. Mm. Woo. Now, Hank. What's up? How long you been doing this, man? Oh, pretty long time, brother. Long oh, time, I'm just gonna man. Leave these out here, just right there, right yeah, there next there to go. you. Stack them up. There Stack them up. Uh huh. Oh man, for a minute, man. Um, officially 2006. 2006. So you're talking about 13 years. It's man. about to be 2020 <clears throat> in in a few weeks. Jeez. Damn, man. That's a long time Damn, to be man. making hits. What was your what was your first <laughs> what was your first one that that kind of put you on the map? What would you say was the first one that like popped um, up? it was actually a whole little wave and you actually had a lot to do with that, man. Um thank you for that, bro. Anytime, anytime. Um, this anytime. was around two thousand six, yeah. Mm, you talking club prime time days. Prime time days, yeah. yes sir. Uh yeah. DJ Silver Silver Knight was hey, rocking man. prime time. Hey man. And, I need um, I need to apply for my plaques, man. I never applied for my plaques. Me too. <laughs> that's just expensive. That's why <laughs> it's not. It's not as bad. You know, it's it's, it's doable. But, okay. Uh, yeah, All right. yeah. 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 All right. Next. Next year. A lot 2020. Of 2020. So yeah, man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first one of the first major ones was uh, "Never Slipping" by the Cadillac Boys. Mm, yeah. Cadillac Boys. We used to play that shit, boy. Yeah, man. That was one of the ones. Never slipping. Yeah. It was violent. It had gunshots in it. Boom, boom. It was ratchet. It was ratchet. But damn, uh, prime time. Yeah, man. So. That mm. was one of them, and um, it just happened after that. Started working with a Soldier Boy, mm -hmm. Hurricane Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, just a lot. You were of, doing some work with a uh, Kyla Park for a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's where the whole Kyla Park thing yep. started. Yep. Uh, uh, we had him last out, time. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kyla Park, Derek, the whole team, yep. Yep. everybody over yep. there. You know, so um, around that time, that's when I started working with Kyla Park, and then the whole Soldier Boy wave, mm -hmm. Hurricane Chris. Um, then after that came Jeezy mm -hmm. um, on this album. What you talking about? Mm -hmm. And um, you can bring it in. Come on, no, don't, don't be, listen. This this is all improv. Just come on in here. Yeah, we that's, that's Joy say right there. That's Joy say. Oh hell no! That's the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. This is why I don't work the rules, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, cut that off. No, it's going to keep going. That's going oh, to keep going. Yeah, because you restarted it. All right, so yeah, now we, uh, <laughs> since we're talking about that. See, they can't, they, can't hear, they can't hear the applause. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, there we got go. applause going. Oh, Yo, you going to wave at YouTube. people? You got to wave at people, I got to wave man. at people. I'm being rude. What's up? Rude AF. It's okay, man. You like my shirt? You like my, did you read my shirt, Hanky? May contain alcohol. Yeah. I need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely. Yeah. Who made that shirt? I got this from a spot in Little Five Points. Uh, what people? Oh my God, she's gonna kill me. What people say? What we? Oh, what we want to say? That's the name of the store. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, with all the shirts. Yeah, all the I know shirts. Exactly yeah. What you're talking about good people, man. Good people. No, no. But yeah, it started uh, around that time, and um, it just been a wave. Okay. I've been blessed to, uh, you know, work with a lot of artists on their way up, mm -hmm. and um. Mm -hmm. You know, build those relationships and, you know, really just help cultivate the culture, man. It's yeah. crazy. So um, a lot of your, your joints, especially the ones that are hitting on the radio, 
you kind of take some of the the old school and uh, give it that new school feel. Yeah. Um, what, what's your connection and love with with old school and throwback music? You want to be honest? Yeah. I'm gonna be totally honest. Ain't no connection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> then, he, then he hits applause. Stop! Stop! That being honest. So, nah, so, but, so what makes you uh, want to so, dig back? You just, just nah, like the, what the had film? happened was. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, crab ragoons. Oh yeah! Shout out to uh, Cold Sushi and yes. um. Yes. Off yes. of Highland, if you're in Atlanta. You you uh, uh, you rock with chopsticks. Yeah. 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 Okay. I try let, to. Let's, let's see what uh see what see what you do with them, man. Because because at some point if this shit don't work, I just pick it up. <laughs> 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 All right. So no connection, but but you obviously have a love for old school, or you you know something about it. I know all about it. I used to I used to DJ as well. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. back when you had to DJ with twelve hundreds. Yeah, I still got mine. Time. I still use them sometimes. You feel me? Yeah, around that time. So, um, what had happened was what had happened was I was doing. Um, I've always been sampling, but mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, you know, once it kicks off, you get a hit, and then everybody wants that type of thing. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. all it was. Yeah, we're gonna be smacking all in our ear. So I did California. I'm gonna do it with my hand because it's too hard to pick up. California was dope, man. Mm -hmm. What makes you land on that sample? You just heard it. And he was like, "Oh, I got, I got to rock with this. Mm -hmm. That's a dope record." I was out one night drinking, and mm -hmm. um, somebody played it. Mm -hmm. This spot it came on. Yeah, and that was it. I just got finished listening to the Dolph mm -hmm. around that time too, so it just happened. And I linked up with Colonel Loud. We made it happen. That was a dope record, man. Yeah, man. I, w I wasn't mad at that record at all. Oh, more, more food. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh wow. Show your uh, show your IG people. Oh yeah, your wings that just came out. Oh, these wings look amazing. Can, can you see the wings up here in the shot? Look how good these wings look, man. Oh, oh man. God. Oh my god. I think I got a new spot to eat at. Oh my god. Uh, man, we gonna say bump the interview in a minute just to eat. Yeah, we just gonna eat. <laughs> now let me ask you, man. You ever get uh, you ever get frustrated with the game? You ever get frustrated with uh, the whole just in general? Oh yeah, you always get frustrated, man. It's just what, what frustrates you? <clears throat> Um, I think more than anything, it's the the lack of understanding of how things really work. Um, as far as what? And in today, into in the industry, it's like I don't know. It's like people have this misconception on how this really works. Like they all think it's you know just about a song. Yeah, mm -hmm. the song has to be dope. You have mm -hmm. to have an amazing song, but mm -hmm. you have to put tons and tons of money into building that product. You know, what right. I mean? Right, right. So a lot of people, um, they have this misconception. They're like, oh, well, you know, the song dope. Like, it's a million dope songs out there, but they just don't right. understand. Right. So I end up, you know, um, certain artists work out, some don't. You know what I'm saying? But those who get it, get it. Those who invest all the way and do what they need to do, right. they get it. Marketing is a big, big part. It's a huge part of it. Some people, like you said, make a dope record, and, you know, if you don't hear about it, how you going to know? Exactly. Yeah, and it's just, I tell people, I give people the analogy all the time. It's just like, um, like you know, McDonald's doesn't necessarily have the best food in the world for mm -hmm. you, but it makes sense. So, um, and the they marketing is yeah, they're ridiculous. the number one restaurant in the world. So right. I mean, it's one of those things to where it makes sense. You know, it's like okay, cool, I get it. They're 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 disgusting. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> But everybody. Well, there goes my McDonald's sponsorship. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to McDonald's. And I, I still eat McDonald's. I'm talking junk, but. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had And I eat McDonald's the McRib, too. I don't oh, care what no, you don't. Say. You be excited when the McRib come back? I love the McRib. I've never had a McRib fish. in my life. You need to try it. It's amazing. I don't eat pork or beef, so I can't. I mean, it's not real pork or beef, so. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole human it's baby. It's a plant based <laughs> <laughs> rib. <laughs> You ever, uh, you ever get to a point where where somebody uh, uh get a song from you and not give you your credit? Always. I mean, how you feel about that? It is what it is, you know. As long as they give you your money. Yeah, as long as my money straight, I don't care, you know. But I mean, it's, but it's kind of the same thing. Like you said, isn't marketing as well for you as a producer? Like, doesn't that help? Isn't it like, oh, yeah. you know, a good thing to have? It would help out tremendously, but. You know, at the same time, I can only say something to the artist or the label or whatever. If that, you know, if that doesn't happen, it's cool. But just know, 
is duly noted. Mm. You know what I mean? For the next time. For the next time. It's always the next and, time. And it's going to be a, uh, that price went up. Oh, you ain't going to shout me out, show me that love, the price went up. Yeah. You're going to get charged the FNF. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's what it is. Now, is Smile one of your, your biggest biggest hits uh, as to date mm-hmm. as far as numbers and whatnot? Mm-hmm. How does that feel? Because that's like a, that's out of here. That's 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 to the moon. Right. How does it feel to have to be a part, to be a major part, of something of that caliber? It's amazing, bro. Like, did you know it was gonna happen? Yep. You knew you knew that as soon as, as soon as you made it, you knew that was gonna happen. Yep. How? Why? The minute I made the beat, you understand? Like I come from the DJ background, like you. So. Mm-hmm. At that point, when the beat is jamming, mm-hmm. I know it's relatable. I know people gonna feel it. Just about putting the right record on it. You know what I mean? Right. And and you had a a, a very popular artist, or or you know, I say personality. Right. You know what I'm saying? You had you had, you had a celebrity behind it that was he was already out of here. Right. And then okay, then that part that part of it, like when we did smile, he just did smile, bitch, smile, bitch, a thousand times. Mm-hmm. And uh, we took it <laughs> and make it a uh, we made it a. Uh, <laughs> I took it and put it in the song format, mm-hmm. somewhat. And then we sent it to Snoop. Mm-hmm. Then Snoop filled in the hook and did his thing with it. Sent a crazy verse, filled mm-hmm. in the hook, mm-hmm. really painted the picture. Shout out to Snoop for that. Yeah. Because without yeah. that, we'd be lost. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to Luke Nasty checking in. Luke man. Nasty, we, I, I'm brother. getting, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm on the way. I'm yeah, on the way. On the way. <laughs> I'm, my brother. I'm, I'm getting to Luke Nasty in a second. I got some, I got some new stuff coming out. Mm-hmm. Luke Nasty too. Mm-hmm. He don't even know. We got a whole mm-hmm. project. I'm uh, recording my verses now, and I'm just going to send him. Um, well, you better taste one of them wings. Yeah, I'm going to send him. Um, oh, I, I done killed one. Oh, okay. All right. You tripping. Okay. Look at that. That thing is. Damn. Okay. Damn. Getting it. Okay. So you knew it was going to be a smash. You knew that was that was a done dollar. Right. And um, once the record came together, it just started reacting naturally, like right then and there. You know, people like you was calling me. Mm-hmm. Say, hey, we need a clean version. Mm-hmm. Need a clean version. And that's it. Once they ask for the clean version, yeah. it's so, a wrap. As soon as I heard it, I, I hit you up. Hey, man, send me the clean version. Send me the instrumental. All Acap- that. Acapella if you got it. All that. I want it all. Stop playing. There now, now Hanky, a lot of people might not know this, but you're classically trained in, in music, right? Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, It just has to do with... um. I've literally been playing... Piano since day one. My mom, to classically trained um, musician, mm-hmm. all that good stuff. Um, I've been playing trumpet since like six or seven. So all you that. trumpet, you piano. All um, that. Without without that, do you think the the way you produce will be totally different? Like, is that a, a big aid in how you produce? It's super uh, disadvantage. It's I mean the super advantage. Like, super advantage. Yeah, super advantage. It's almost unfair. Like. I don't have to pay anybody to come in to play mm-hmm. for me. I mm-hmm. I can hear it myself if it needs changing. I can play mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's just a huge advantage, you know. And I'm just nappy. thinking. Okay, one nappy. Yeah, I'm li- I'm just thinking that things way differently than other people. You okay, know okay. Uh, nephew, you good back there? I got my I got my nephew <clears throat> in the building, y'all. He back there on, on, on only fans. Can you check that out, homie? Fans only. Oh 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 wow oh oh we oh, got more Acres sushi. Got real. Oh wow, this is incredible. Mm-hmm. Can you see that right there? Mm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Mm. Can y'all see that? So uh, you, had some, you had some slams with Luke Nasty, too. Here, grab oh, your yeah. shot glass right there. Let me put this down right here. Okay. This plate heavy as hell. Now, how did it feel like working with, with, uh, with DJ? Now, he's a DJ? He's a DJ. He's okay. a real DJ. Right. He's a real artist. He was like, yo, I'm going to put out some songs and take that level up. It's now, crazy. Like, everything is like a... Um, Everything is like a, you know, it's like a story. You know, it mm-hmm. all it's all connected. Mm-hmm. So I met Luke when we did the um, the California record because mm-hmm. his manager Waleed, shout out Waleed, uh, worked for Empire, mm-hmm. and so around the same time, uh, I don't know, you know, Neek working on uh, radio in South Carolina. Neek, I think so. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Neek had been telling me about Luke for the longest. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy we met up, and um. I never forget, we was at uh, Taboo 2 on a Sunday night. Okay. 
But at the time I was doing Fridays. Right. Y'all was on it. Yeah, that, that was the hip hop night. Yeah, that was the mm-hmm. ratchet night. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this is the ratchet mm-hmm. night on Sundays. But uh, to make a long story short, um, we met up, been rocking ever since. Well, you had two uh, two out the gate with him. Yeah, that's the homie, man. Yeah, man. We got we got some muscle coming too. So now you ever um, you have your own artist? Are you gonna put out your own artist soon? Mm. Yes, I had a good sweet a sweet spot in the wings. Okay, uh, mm. but yeah, that's that's important. Yeah, right? I'm looking. That, that's, that's your next level. Got to man. Um, yeah. because all the great oh, artists. What is what? I think that's the that's the Thai salmon, and that's the Jersey roll. I think we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna try it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Take your time. Take your time. Mm. Take your time. But yeah, so I got some artists I'm working with. Uh, this young lady named Jalice Wilson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's an amazing vocalist. Like I'm trying to go. I don't need no rappers. Rappers go to jail too much. Drink R&B. too many pills. She I know, just, right? Oh crazy. man. Yeah. Shout out to Juice World. Just crazy. Yeah, man. It's, it's you know that's some sad news we just got about Juice, but um, it was just sad, man. You, you know, the 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 younger hip hop community is it needs our guidance. Yeah. I think I think it's. <clears throat> OGs. I'm, I guess I'm an OG. I guess I can consider that. But I mean, maybe we can do more. I mean, I, I mean, you already know though. My thing is, you know what these pills and lean and different things can do, right. but yet you still do it. So how, 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 how can we on. how can we change that narrative? How can I mean, what can we do? I mean, it's a personal choice, man. Like you know, I don't know. I just don't. Me personally, I don't like medicine that much, but. Mm. I understand these. They taking prescription. I, I can't even do Nyquil unless I'm. I got to be dead sick. Right. So they doing. They taking prescription drugs. You know. It's just sad. You some talented brothers, man. Crazy. Some talented brothers and sisters that um. Just going too soon, you know. But these wings, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Now say what? <laughs> these wings <laughs> is amazing. They are, are amazing. Is these are the uh, Malaysian wings, I believe. Malaysian wings. I might have made that, that shit up just now, but I we're going to go with that. I think you did. <laughs> I think I just made that up. <laughs> what, um, you get a lot of sleep? Yeah. You do? Air blue moon. Air blue moon. Are you one of those, you know, I sleep when I die or? or... Nah, I sleep when I get tired. Yeah. Okay. Like, like you got to take, you got to take breaks, man. Because mm-hmm. like last night was crazy. This morning was crazy. Just, you know. <laughs> Obviously, we, we going nuts already. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Speaking of that, man, I had never had this before. So while we're talking, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour you up another one. And this is a whiskey podcast. Are you a whiskey drinker? I guess I am today. <laughs> <laughs> What's your drinking choice? Mm. I've been on Crown Apple lately, so this is amazing. Yeah, so okay, so so this is Jim Bean Apple. Mm-hmm. I don't have a sponsor yet. <laughs> All right. I see you. But... Between Jim Bean Apple and Crown Apple. Crown. Crown Apple. Yeah, See, right Crown now. Apple, and I like Crown Apple, but it seems uh, a little more sweet than this one. Right. What's up? Oh, Vince, check. What's up, man? Oh, you done brought the camera. Where you steal that camera from, man? You done, you done stole the camera, you know? <laughs> That's my Shout boy. out to Mitch, everybody. You know what I'm saying, Vincent? Hey, Joyce, hey, I needed you before. I had to pour my own whiskey. You see how you do me? Oh. I know I use old. I didn't want to hurt nobody, you know. I didn't want to yell the baby, what, scare the baby, you know. We already drink, drinking whiskey at twelve o'clock. It's ridiculous. <laughs> eleven eleven thirty. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get sleep, man. You gotta get uh, proper exercise, yep. all that stuff, man. Yep. So, you know. Yeah, I said I'm gonna start doing yoga. Yeah, I'm doing yoga too. You 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 did it? You doing it already? Oh, YouTube, yeah. <laughs> YouTube yoga. YouTube yoga. <laughs> Uh, that one's still going, right? Nephew over there, make sure the cameras are going. I tell you, this is a real bootleg operation, man. So, you know, I got people, cameras might cut off. Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's nephew, why I got the live going. I'm trying, I'm we trying got to take up footage on the live. Got, listen, send me that because I'm probably going to use it. Matter of fact, yeah, send me that. That'd be dope. There you go. That'd be dope. Now, do you ever get um, like a celebrity lookalike or people come up and say you look like anybody? Mm-hmm. I get I get Key from Key and Peele every day. Every day. I was about to say. Every day. We do like Ken Peel. It used to irritate me. Now Now I just go with it. Yeah. You should get a check off of it. I need to figure that out. But I get that every day. Who do you get? 
Isaac Hayes. All day long. All day long. <clears throat> That's crazy. That's why I had to switch up the shades. <laughs> we ought to do. Uh, we ought to start doing like. You know I can do that Photoshop real good. Put our head on their body and just You're start messing with people. You're amazing at Photoshop, though. <laughs> I've been in many meetings. I had to like look the other way. <laughs> I was like I had to. I got to mute Silver Night. Silver Night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the music you're producing now is, is primarily hip hop. You're gonna start doing more R and B. Right. Is there is there a preference? Like, is what, what's your favorite genre of music to produce? Mm, I let, don't let, have a favorite. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I okay. Just like to make hits, man. That's it. Like, like to make hits. Well, as long as it's a hit, I'm cool with it. Would you do Would you do reggae? Yeah. Would you do uh, yeah. reggaeton and Latin pop? All EDM, that. all that, all that, all that. I've done EDM before. I um, I did a record with Trinidad James. It was an EDM record. Trinidad. Yeah, shout out Trinidad yeah, James. Man. We, you know, it's crazy. Uh, I think we said something about Trinidad in the last last one I did. He's a dope performer, man. Amazing. I saw him perform at one music fest, and I had never seen him perform before. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the dude jumped in, literally in the crowd, and said, "Yo, we gonna just circle around, and we just gonna." Shit yeah. was dope, man. Yeah, that's what he does, man. Shit He's an amazing dope. performer, amazing artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man, like I said, man, you know, we don't really do a lot of questions. We just kind of vibe, man. I mean, <laughs> what, what's what's next? Well, like I know you say you got your your, your female artist you're getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. Um, I can see you doing some like. Would you do a movie soundtrack? Definitely. I'm that'd doing be, that. I'm actually hard. working on a couple of um. Movie scores right now. Get one of them. <clears throat> dust off one of these crab ragoons. Yeah, man. Y'all trying to. Yeah. This is a lot of food, bro. Listen, did you get one of them sushis yet? We want to see. Not what yet. The, come on, let's see what them sushis do, man. On, on camera. On camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we'll do the whiskey in a minute. <laughs> Boy, this is ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Now you say you used to be a DJ. Would you um? Would you get back to DJing? Definitely. Yeah. Mm. 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 That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Real good. So you had a point now where, you know, you're an artist. I mean, you're a producer artist. You should be able to get booked at, like, some festival-type stuff or, mm -hmm. you know, big Vegas-type stuff. Like, that should be, like, like not, not the lounge around the corner. Mm -mm. That's, what, that's what's next, man, to be mm -hmm. honest. Like, just really maximizing what's going this on right now. This my water right here? Oh, okay. Not to maximize what's going on, man. Damn you know? right, man. So I'm doing all that, man, like. Dropping an album, getting a fans only page. Yeah. Now outside of music, any uh any passions outside of music? Yeah, man, I actually enjoy like um things like kickball, shit like that. Mm. Man, adult kickball? Mm-hmm. Let's do an adult kickball uh game, man. What's up? I'm with it. We let's do it. let's do a charity kickball or something like that, right? I'm with that. Yeah? Oh. Nephew, you with that? You with that? All right. I'm with that. We got to set it up. I get Magic City. You get Blue Flame. I'm with that, too. Let's do that. We're talking about for the kickball, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, shut your mouth. <laughs> I forget what other sound effects I got in here. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, now that's funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> of course, you got to have an explosion. You got the nephew one. Nephew. Can you check that out, homie? And then I hey. got some. You know. Okay. This really gets a beat machine. I see. This this is machina. Uh oh. Oh. We'll call you back. Oh, call we'll you call back. you right back. Live. We'll call you right back. You know, pause the live video. I ain't gonna say who that was. Yep. It said big booty. I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> you actually, we all know her too. That's what's crazy. Yeah, I, I know. That's yeah. That's the homie. Good stuff, We're man. Just Good stuff, man. Well, listen. Anything you wanna? Well, hold up, hold up. But first. Whiskey. Whiskey. Oh my God. When did you pour this shot? <laughs> About three wings ago. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what I was about to say. Sheesh. How can people get in touch with you? you I, I didn't know you had a website, man. That website is nice. Oh, yeah, man. Um, AmrHankyBeat.com. A M R H A N K Y B E A T. Is that your studio in the pictures? Yes, it is. Is that your room? Yep, that's my room. Okay. So, so we're gonna we're gonna give a, a a couple couple ways to get in touch with you. First of all, people that want to get beats from you in studio time, I guess. Right. Do you work with up up and coming artists with the, with the budget yeah. or yeah. okay? Keyword with the budget. 
It's okay. Legend. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. So those people that want to get in touch with you, maybe get some production or get you know the whole package, how can they reach you? Oh man, y'all can get, reach me through uh, either Silver Knight. Yeah. Hey, for real. Nephew. Uh, anyone of them? Hey, nephew. Can I you mean, check that out, nephew. homie? <laughs> Now, uh, also, you can hit me up on my website. Mm -hmm. Well, really, Instagram, that's um, amrhankybeat.com. I mean, amrhankybeat. So, like in your DMs, you answer? Yeah, DMs, all that okay. stuff. Um, okay. All that, you know. Get at me. It's easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All and right. you, too, can have a hit record. That's right. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. And you, too, can have a hit record. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hanky. My boy. Appreciate you, man. This Appreciate you, man, for real. I've never ate this much, uh, eaten this and, much. And we're going to finish all this before we go. Man. And maybe do one more whiskey. We can do the whiskey. I don't know about the food. I don't know if, <laughs> I, don't know if I can make it, but this is a lot. And you got some more people to wave at on IG Live, hey, man. Okay. IG Live. They, they, yours is popping. I get on mine, I get one person. Hey, man. You got to be consistent with it, man. That's the word. Yeah. That, that's Listen, 2020, that's the word. Consistent. How long have I been saying that? Consistent. I'm going to get a tattoo that says it. Consistency. I got a tattoo right here. What'd it say? It, it, I got darker, so it's like a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hanky, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look, so you know what I want to talk about? Okay, okay. Before we go, before we go. Before we go. Oh, yeah, we got to wrap it up. This is what I want to talk about. Talk to me. So, right now, music we have going on, what's the, what is it called? Stripper rap? Okay, I can, I can, yeah, sure. Okay, so it's the, at some point, you know, we got to start, I don't know, it's it's almost as bad as the trap rap. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody talking about this and the, mm -hmm. the same stuff, the mm -hmm. same stuff over mm -hmm. and over again. So, the female artist, the one that comes out that's on some Jay-Z stuff, like For Real For Real or Andre 3000, the rapper, mm. female rapper that comes out mm -hmm. on that, is mm -hmm. going to win. That's what's next in the game. And we're talking long term, right? Long term. Right. You you, know. So you're saying a lot of this is, is just for the now, just yeah. short term? Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, Meg is doing her thing, mm -hmm. Nikki doing her thing, Cardi, but there's a lot of in-betweens that, you know, that just mm. might not make it, mm. you know, no matter how popular their song or they, they, uh, Instagram um, following is, you know, none of that really matters. I tell people that all the time. Yeah, because what if Instagram shut down tomorrow? Right. Right. I mean, it, they already got away, gave, um, did away with the likes that people could see. Yep. So, that, you know, the activity has gone down a lot, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it ain't just popping like it used to be. So, um, I'm still liking strippers pages, though, because can't nobody see it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's that little Uzi, what? Uzi song? <laughs> I'm going to do what I want to. I mean, Boy, shut your mouth. You can like anybody's picture now. <laughs> Anything, like, ain't nobody gonna see it unless they follow. Them. I can still follow see them. likes. You it's can? still it's still in beta, but um, like p the the likes taken away is still like a, a beta thing. Mm -hmm. So I can still see people's likes. That's good. Yeah, but I never cared about that. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 okay. It made it it made the game so like whack. Yeah, without I don't, I don't care without, about without you know being able to say because it kind of programs you like when you see somebody. That you know, like something, you're gonna automatically like it. Right. It's, it's something psychological about that. So, exactly. you know, I, I've liked things. I'm like, why did I even like that? Oh, because uh, Hanky, like, oh, I saw Hanky. Let me just like it. You know. Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? But okay, hey man, that's that's a good word, man. Get that content. Get that content up. You know, have something to say for the what long term. Mean, you know? And get these Malaysian wings, because that's what I'm calling them, Malaysian, Malaysian wings. You know, that's not a real flavor, right? I mean, it is going to be today. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Malaysian I'm wings. I'm going to put a description of where we at in in, uh, in the comments, so on the location. So don't don't worry. Mm. I, I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say it right now. Now we at Cole on Highland, man. Cold noodles and sushi. So shouts out to them, my boy. Anton Joy say was helping today, and uh, Mr. Hanky, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. <laughs> That was dope. That was dope. All right, that's it, man. Yeah, that's it. You cut him. You cut him. Woo. The live is popping. What's up, people? Live is going crazy. Saucy.